Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ali. If you're new to my channel, I'm welcome to be with the purpose. So we're in a little bit of a different setting. We are in my kitchen, if you can't tell by the coffee pot and the cabinets and just the vibe. So anyways, today I'm going to be showing you guys how and what I use to clean my brushes. And I'm going to tell you some things that you need in your life. life so first things first you need a towel because you will be laying out your brushes on this to dry so where I put mine is actually just right next to the sink that I'll be using for cleaning for washing my brushes and also there's so much counter space over here so I won't have to maneuver anything I can just lay them on the floor and all flat in one line Okay, so the next thing that you will need is some kind of soap. I got the Zoat soap. Guys, it is a big old thing, is 98 cents, and I've gone, this thing has gone through three brush washes already, and it's still just as big as whenever I first bought it. I keep mine in a Ziploc baggie because you can't put it back in the packaging that it comes in. So what I do is I'll just take this, and then I'm gonna set it right in the sink. Okay, next thing that will be really helpful is for your sponges, because I don't like cleaning my sponges with the Zoat soap, because I feel like, it's not gonna get your sponges soapy enough and it's gonna be really hard to clean. And then the next thing I'm gonna show you, it's too rough to clean your sponges with and it'll start to rip them. So the next thing is I just grab any soap. Sometimes I'll use my face wash, sometimes I'll use dish soap, sometimes I'll use hand soap. Just any soap that's uh, gonna help fight bacteria as well as add some moisture back into your sponges. So like for instance, this is a Mrs. Myers Clean Day Hand Soap and it's made with olive oil and aloe vera. So this is the soap that I'll be using to clean my sponges today. And then this, I got this little mat on Amazon and this, this has truly changed the game for brush washing. Like I no longer dread washing my brushes. You don't have to get the one off of Amazon. You can pick one of these up at TJ Maxx. They have smaller ones, but this makes it so much easier and so much faster. What used to take me an hour to clean my brushes, I can now do in 15 to 30 minutes. So I highly recommend one of these for cleaning your brushes. So now let's just get into the process. Okay, so obviously you wanna use a sink that doesn't have dishes in it. <laughs> okay, that's a little bit of a better angle for you guys. So you wanna use a sink that doesn't have dishes in it. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna barely turn on the water to that right there, but I am gonna put it on about lukewarm. And I try to not let it hit like the mat too much or the soap too much. So I kind of see, I shouldn't have messed with the soap. So we'll just go ahead and put it right over the drain because I messed with it. Okay, so now what we're gonna go ahead and do is we'll go ahead and start with our sponges. So I'm gonna take out all my sponges because they're all dirty. This one's not dirty. So this one's not dirty, so I'm gonna put it back in there. But all of my other sponges are dirty. So what I'll do is I'll get it wet first. And then I will go ahead and uh, put some soap on there. And usually, when before I used to turn off the water, but because this process has gotten so fast, it's just faster for me to leave it on instead of risking the temperature getting changed. And so you're gonna wanna do it until you see the white, uh, till you see no more soap coming out. And also whenever the soap is white, you know you have all of the concealer, foundation, and powder out of there. That's why it's so hot. Okay, this, my kitchen sink water gets so hot, you guys, it's ridiculous. So I'm just gonna keep squeezing it. And it's really hard to get the soap out of this red Morphe sponge. So now we're about to have some fun with some of my dirtier sponges. So that one wasn't really that dirty. I barely used it this morning and I didn't even use it for everything. So make sure you get all the water out so it can dry properly. And then you just set it on your towel over here. And so now we're gonna go in with this little green one, which actually gets pretty big when it's wet. And so we're gonna go ahead and put some soap on that one. And I just go ahead and rub it in. And then like I said, whenever you squeeze it, you see all the makeup come out of there. This one's still a little bit stained right there, so just really rub it in nice and good. You're gonna squeeze, wet, 
cookies. Um, for harder parts like that, like this little stains that don't really want to come off, I'm going to go ahead and go in with my seventh generation uh, dish soap. And I'm just going to really rub that in on that stain that doesn't want to come out. Just so time consuming, but so satisfied to wash. And then you see how like there's no more foundation coming out. So now I'll just wet it one more time. Squeeze all the water out and then make sure there's no more soap in there as well. And then we will go ahead and set this out to dry. Okay. And now I'm going to time lapse me cleaning the rest of my sponges. Okay, so now we are done with makeup sponges and that will be your most time consuming um, section, I guess you could say, only because, that'll be your most time consuming section because it's constantly adding soap, squeezing it out, adding soap, squeezing it out, and it takes a while to get that all out and it, that really takes a toll on my hands. Okay, so now we are done with these two, so we're gonna go ahead and put those up. So now, I'm just gonna go ahead and start on these. Okay, just making sure that I'm pulling out all my, I pull out all my brushes that are dirty first. Okay, so I'll show you guys. Of course, obviously I'm gonna go ahead and speed up. So I'll, sh I'll show you guys with a more brush that's more easy to show. And you'll see the color come out on the mat. Yeah, so you'll see the color come out on the mat. So I'm gonna do the same temperature of water, same consistency. So leave your brushes pointed down because you don't want water to get up in here and then your brushes will start falling apart or this barrel part will come off. So then I'm just gonna swirl it in the soap and then swirl it on my mat. And voila, it's already done. See, now it's clean. I'll show you with another one that may look a little bit more dirty. 
let's do this one. So you can see how it's really, really dirty. Just wet it a little bit, swirl it in the soap, go on the mat, and boom, it's clean. So this soap combination along with this mat, I'm telling you, you guys, is a lifesaver. So I will go ahead and just speed it through this now. Okay, so we did finish all of our eye, eyeshadow brushes, which wasn't long. So now I'm gonna go into these smaller face brushes, like a concealer brush, a little contour, and then some highlighting brushes. And so the same thing, I'm gonna use this concealer brush because it does have like some thicker product on it since it is a concealer brush. So I'm just gonna wet that. You see how fast it comes off when I put it in that soap? And then you just swirl it on the mat a couple times. Now these ones that you use like, Foundation on, concealer on, it might take a little bit more time to clean, but this one is obviously already clean. Okay, now something like this one that has highlight, it's gonna clean just like an eyeshadow brush because it was used with powder, so it won't take that long. Just a couple of swirls and rinse. And the good thing about this soap is that if you don't wash it all the way off, it kind of has like a slip to it. So you'll know whenever your soap is out of you know when the, all of the soap is out because it'll get, um, it won't feel as slippery. And this is what happens when you get water in there. So I just keep popping it back on. <laughs> okay, now moving on to some foundation brushes and just like some thicker brushes. So yeah, I'm gonna use this one because this one had a lot of foundation on it and just show you guys. So this one is a little bit shorter and stubbier, so I do kind of have to push a little bit of water up in there. And then same thing, rub it, and then scrub it. So you see all of that foundation that's coming out. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it off, take a look at it, and then see if it needs any more soap or scrubbing. So there's still a tiny bit of foundation left on the center bristles. So rub it, and then I'm gonna rinse off my mat a little bit. That way I can tell when it's clean. And then we're gonna scrub it just a little bit. See, there's still some foundation in the soap right there. So that's why you wanna just make sure to double check these more dense brushes. The denser the brush, the little longer it'll take to clean. So once again, rinse it out. And then, oh, a lot of soap right there. So when you rinse it out, there's no more foundation whatsoever left in the center. 
Okay, we're going in with this one. This is going to be a little bit hard because since there's not a handle, I'll just keep it like at a side angle. This one's going to be a little bit harder to clean because since it's kind of the color of foundation, you can't really tell when it's clean other than the color that's coming off on the mat. And now it's clean because the bubbles are um, white. Okay, going into some of these fluffier brushes. Now these are going to get sopping wet and feel like they're not really cleaning them well. So we'll start with this one. Look at how dirty that is. And just rub it around. And then rinse it out with it one more time. Cause like I said, since these are more like fluffy and big, you gotta make sure you get down deep in the center of these bigger brushes. Like I said, the best way to tell is whenever the soap comes out white, if a brush is clean. So these ones are going to clean it similar to this, these ones are going to clean in between like the highlighting brushes and in between the more dense brushes. And so, yeah, these ones won't be too long to clean. So I'm just gonna go ahead and time lapse this process. Wow, I barely bought this one, so that's not good. It is off of Amazon, so. And when these brushes dry, if that happens, just stick some glue in there and pop it back on. I mean, how do you think that they put it on? Okay, you guys, so this is what all the brushes look like clean, so I have my sponges. And then I lay them like this so that way I can fit more on the towel, but they all have enough space to dry. And I'll tell you guys now, so like, so this one right here, it looks a little bit out of shape, but if when it dries, if you'll just fluff it up, it'll go back to its original shape. Just in case I forget to tell you guys or update you guys whenever they're dry, but that is how I lay them out to dry, just on the kitchen counter. Yeah, so I just lay them out on the kitchen counter and I don't really use that part of the counter so it's not a big deal. Like I, so I only use that part of the counter for like drying things or just like storing things. You see my calendars over there? So it's like the perfect place and the perfect length for all my brushes. Now the only part that's gonna, your time may vary depending on how many brushes you have and how dirty they are. But I'm telling you guys, that combination right there, that soap and that mat is going to be your biggest time saver. It doesn't have to be that soap, but just getting a mat and investing in a mat, like mine was like $4 or something like that, was the best decision I ever made. So my kids are going crazy. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and please give me a thumbs up. Also go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.